أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون. I did not create jinn and mankind other than to worship me. This is what Allah said in the Quran, speaking specifically about the purpose of our life. He created us to worship Him. In سبحان الله we see that in a very beautiful hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us. It is called Sayyidul Istighfar, the master of istighfar, the master of seeking forgiveness. Subhanallah, we are very much lucky and blessed as humans that Allah has opened the door of forgiveness for us. We make a lot of mess, but we've got the door of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open always for forgiveness. Subhanallah, in this dua that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us, we see what does worshiping Allah means. We see humility. We see love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We see acknowledging the weakness of ourselves. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this dua says, Allahumma anta rabbi. Oh Allah, you are my Lord. Wa ana abduk. And I am your slave. خلقتني. You've created me. This is starting with the main things. Subhanallah. And this is what we call munaja, whispering and speaking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those who love Allah enjoy speaking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma anta rabbi khalaqtani wa ana abduk. Wa ana ala ahdika wa wa'adika masata. Oh Allah, I will try my very best to fulfill my promises and my commitments to you. And then he goes back. After saying that, to speak about something that is very much beautiful. أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت. I seek refuge by you from the from every evil that I have done. Imagine this is the purest of the pure, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, saying, I seek refuge by you from any evil that I have done. Imagine Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying this, and Allah told him already. ليغفر لك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر. Allah has forgiven everything that you've done in whatever you're going to do. And yet, Subhanallah, but when you love Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, you don't want to see, you don't want Allah to see anything wrong in you. So I seek refuge by you from any evil that I have done. I acknowledge my sins, and I admit and I acknowledge all the blessings that you've given me. So forgive me. فإنه لا يغفر الذنوب إلا أن. No one forgives sins other than you. And this Subhanallah, this dua is full of humility, full of understanding me as human being. I am faulty. I can do. Subhanallah, I will. It is inevitable that we'll do mistakes, whether we, whether knowingly or unknowingly. But imagine Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not only opened for us the door of seeking forgiveness, but also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, he loves those who seek forgiveness. And that's why subhanallah, it is not, it is impossible to remain, to live without sin. Because Rasulullah sallallahu said, every human being is a, is a sinner, will commit a sin. But the best of the sinners are those who seek forgiveness. And subhanallah, to know how to, to speak to Allah, how to address Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and also subhanallah, to admit. And that maybe it might, it, we have to do even in our, subhanallah, human relations as well. Before asking people to forgive you, to admit your faults. And this is what we learn from the example of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa If we read that dua, اللهم أنت ربي خلقتني وأنا عبدك والله you are my lord you've created me and I am your slave وأنا على عهدك ووعدك ما استطاع and I will try my very best to fulfill all my promises and my commitments to you أعوذ بك من شر ما صنعت I seek refuge by you يا الله from any evil that I have done أبوء بذنبي I admit all my sins and I acknowledge all and I admit that all the blessings that I have is from you. 
فاغفر لي فارغب مي فإنه لا يغفر الذنوب إلا أنت No one forgives sins other than you So if no one forgives other than Allah No one benefits other than Allah No one should be loved more than Allah No one should be feared more than Allah والحمد لله رب العالمين